Welcome to Train Heroic. Let's get started with building your first training session. First, log in and click on the library icon from the left-hand toolbar. Now, click Create New in the top right-hand corner. Give your program a name and determine the number of weeks that you'd like the program to cover. Now, add a training session by clicking the Add option on Week 1, Day 1. Take note that there are no specific dates since you'll add this program to a team or athlete's calendar once it's complete. You'll now be brought to the designer with a blank page. Each training session is organized into blocks and you'll begin by clicking Add Block. Then, search for a specific movement to add to Block A. Once you've added a movement, add your rep scheme by clicking Select Prescription. You will have the option to save custom rep schemes so that you don't need to rekey the same rep scheme over and over again. But for now, you'll begin by selecting Custom Table to design your first custom rep scheme. Pick how many sets you'd like to add to the movement in Block A and add your rep scheme. You'll notice that each of the columns, reps and weight in this example, can be customized in order to track exactly what you'd like with your athletes. You can choose to be prescriptive, adding in the weights or percentages, or you can choose to leave cells empty so that the athlete can pick their own starting point. Keep in mind that your athletes will always be able to adjust what you've prescribed. Lastly, add notes like rest times, tempos, rep ranges, and anything else you'd like to communicate with your athletes. Now that block A is complete, simply click Add Block to add another block to the training session. Blocks can be combined to create supersets by clicking the link between blocks. You'll notice when you click Add Block that in addition to adding an exercise, you can also create an exercise or new circuit. Clicking New Exercise allows you to add movements to your exercise library at any time. Clicking New Circuit gives you a quick and easy method for designing warm-ups, cool-downs, and anything within a training session that doesn't require the athlete to track their specific sets and reps. To create a circuit, simply type in your text and add any desired videos from your library. You can quickly save circuits so that you can reuse a warm-up or cool-down anytime. Add as many blocks with movements or circuits as you'd like and use the arrow button to move a block up or down. Once you've finished designing a training session, click Back to Program to view your training session on the program's calendar. You've now created a training session on Week 1, Day 1 in your library. Next, we'll go over how to deliver the programming to your athletes.